Hi, um, my name is uh, Paige Miller. I'm in the Sociology, Criminology, and Anthropology Department. Um, and I am a, a co-leader of the Semester Abroad Europe program. I'm Claire McCarty. I'm a professor of management in the College of Business and Economics. And I'm part of the Semester Abroad program and led it in fall of 18. So I'd love to tell you some stories about what students did there. SAE, uh, Semester Abroad Europe, is uh, the longest running program on campus. It's, it's the oldest program. Um, and as the, the name itself suggests, you are spending a Europe a semester in, in Europe. Um, the program gives you a chance to sort of immerse yourself in some in another culture um, and also develop a some kind of project um, that is related to your sort of like um, academic major or your um, career goals. We usually start off in Paris, uh, acclimating everybody, getting to uh, connect and work on our projects, and then students go off to their site. Uh, faculty member is always in Europe and will be visiting you and keeping in touch and helping you with your project or your internship or your research. Uh, in the last time I led Semester Abroad Europe, we had students in from Dairy Science who were working on a farm in Spain. Uh, business administration art minor who was studying the Gonzaga family in uh, Italy. We had an art, another art major doing glass blowing in the Czech Republic. Animal science major studying the uh, horses in England. Somebody in sports marketing and business administration working for the United World Games, basically doing an internship. And another uh, business accounting student who studied healthcare administration in Slovenia. Um, with uh, government officials helping show her around and letting her job shadow. So there's opportunities to develop your own research project, to work with us to help you set up some sort of internship-like experience. It's the most flexible of all the programs because it lets you design what you would like to do that semester with a whole team behind you, so you're not alone. And, and just to add on to that, not only do you design what you want to do that semester, you do it in the country and the city of your choice. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of um, flexibility and a lot of uh, control on the part of the students participating in the program. Typically, um, a full a full semester uh, course load. So what I mean by that is 12, 12 credits is typically the number of credits that students um, um, receive, but you can also go up to 15 credits, but 12 is typical. Um, six of those credits are credits that go into your department. So it's sort of, uh, we, that's our 378 course. The number is not important, but like, so if you're an art major, you will get six credits that go to art 378. So um, the credits help you towards completing the, um, the requirements of your major, which is really great. Um, and the grade is primarily based on the project advisor's evaluation of that project that Claire was talking about. And then you also get another six credits from INTS 377. Again, the number is not important. Those are just your semester abroad um, credits. And those are oftentimes applied to some area in your gen general education requirements on the degree audit report. So they might go to your global perspectives requirement. They might go, I think we're also increasingly, um, uh, some students are also applying them towards um, the a, uh, American, uh, did I, well, I forgetting it American what's it called diversity. American diverse yes <laughs> yeah yep so um, those those other six credits go to, I mean all of it all 12 credits are helping you towards graduation and um, so at, even at the very least let's say you have all of your general education requirements finished those last six credits still help you get 120 credits which is what you need to graduate so and we've had students who were we usually require that you're a junior but I've had students who it was their last semester so they went to Europe for their last semester and those credits all fit into their major or their minor um, and they finished their came back in time because we always come back in time for graduation. Yeah, and the requirements for the program are, I think, fairly minimal. I mean, uh, you don't have to have any sort of courses under you. You do have to usually be a junior at least and have a, a minimum 2.25 GPA, but it's a pretty open program, I think. We do have a great team that will work with you. so. Sometimes people think, oh, I have no idea what I would do. Well, we have many years of experience and many years of examples of what students have done all over Europe. So that's yeah. never a concern. Um, sometimes people start off in the beginning of the semester wanting to do semester abroad Europe. And by the time they're there, they have a well-defined project with a project advisor and a semester abroad committee uh, behind them. So we'll help you figure it out. Mm -hmm. 
in fact, um, we so the program has now become a spring semester program. It used to run uh, traditionally in the fall, but just building off of what Claire was saying, we spend the entire semester before we leave. So let's say we were leaving, you were to participate in you know um, this one spring semester. That fall semester preceding it is spent working with the faculty who are actively involved with the program, um, weekly meetings, developing and ensuring that you know what's happening once you're once you're abroad. So I think I think for some people when they hear this idea of like, oh, I'm going to be in Europe. Of so doing my own work by myself, it sounds a little intimidating. But there's 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 a lot of structure. There's a lot of guidance before you leave, and then even once you're over there. One of the real advantages of semester abroad Europe for students is that it actually is very affordable. Um, I had students largely that might live in a dorm situation. They might live in an Airbnb situation. They uh, were connected to a university, so they can make it very expensive depending on how they travel and what they want to spend their money on and they can go on quite a budget and we help you figure that out too and teach you how to how to live in Europe on a budget. Yeah, in fact, I think um, just uh, pre recently we had uh, two students who mostly camped, I think, Ian's uh, geography students who were um, uh, traveling the coast of the of, of England doing some kind of geography work not exactly or geology work I'm not exactly sure what it was uh, they camped along the way so I mean that's very cheap the bulk of the semester is spent in in the city that you selected um, completing the the requirements of your project so I think for a typical student they um, they would spend probably you know Monday through Thursday maybe Monday through Friday um, potentially working with an agency maybe working at a university maybe working at a research institute or or maybe even just doing independent work but the, the, the bulk of their week you know Monday through Thursday Monday through Friday would be spent um, uh, working on their projects so maybe doing research so gathering data doing interviews or you know again depending on the nature of the project um, and then weekends are like any weekend um, free to um, potentially just hang around the city that you're living in uh, travel to other cities meet up with other students in the program or even um, you know a lot of our students end up developing friendships with with people in the, the cities that they're, they're living in so they end up making plans with those people as well um, and so that's the bulk of the semester. Um, so you're, you're, you're living in your city, you're doing your project with, you know, some travel in between. And then the last part of the, the semester is sort of, we call it sort of focused travel. Um, and what we mean by that is you're, you, you, you're encouraged to, you're not required to, but you're encouraged to sort of leave the city that you, that you've been living in and then travel around Europe to engage in. It, it's like, it's focused in the sense that you still have work that you're doing at that time. So you might develop a project in which you want to compare like different coffee houses in different cities, but it gives you a chance to sort of see other parts of Europe that you might not have had a chance to do while you were working on your project at the first part of the semester. Um, and right, so, and, and, and as Claire said, you know, it really does look different for different students. Some students have homestays, some students are living independently. Um, so so their, their days will look a little bit different, but, but that's the basic structure of the program. Bulk of it at the beginning on the project and then focus travel at the end. And we had students who would do a lot of traveling at the end, and I had students who so enjoyed their family stay or their work environment that they stayed. And they wanted to spend the entire time at their project site. So it's really a wonderful opportunity that gives you a lot of flexibility. And I think the cool thing, I mean, I think any study abroad program is fantastic, do it. But the, the really great thing and why I wanted to participate in this program in particular is that I do think there's something um, special about semester long programs. Um, and I think especially with this program, um, so, you know, other semester um, long programs might have you traveling from city to city, which is great. Um, but you know, with this program, you are rooted in one place. So you'll end up developing routine just because that's what humans do. So you'll you'll shop at the same places. You'll often go to the same coffee shops, grab a drink at the same pub. And so you end up recognizing people and they end up recognizing you. So you're really you really are immersed in this place and you're getting to know the place, um, and which is, I think, a, a, a an experience that can't really be replicated if you're again this is not to knock the travel to different mm -hmm. cities but it can't be replicated in the same way um but any program that you any study abroad program study abroad program will be transformative i just think these semester long programs are especially so and we've had students who participated in other programs short term and long term 
who then end up doing semester abroad in Europe and do say that this was the most transformative, even if they'd been abroad before, and they loved the independence. At the same time, we've also had students that this was their very first experience abroad, which I was always in awe of, um, and they found it incredibly invigorating and adventurous. And like I said, you're fully supported by us, so you're never fully alone mm -mm. in your experience. Unless you really want to be, but mm -hmm. we'll always be hanging around to some degree. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a social scientist, I'm a sociologist, and so I've been trained to speak and, and with like a lot of doubt and hesitation. You know, I never say anything with like 100% certainty, but I will say with 100% certainty, um, you will never regret doing this. Like, it, it, I think you might have challenges, there might be times where, where when you're living it where you feel uncertain or anxious or even stressed out, but in the end, you will never regret doing it. It will probably, it will be one of the best experiences I've ever do it. This is the best time of your life to do it. You're never going to um, have the sort of freedom that you have right now. Um, once you're done with uh, university, you know, we all have different paths, but oftentimes we go into careers and some of us start, start forming families and it just becomes increasingly difficult to have these kinds of experiences. And you're at the right age, your life is exactly set up for this. Um, so I think, I think, yeah, like I said before, you're, you're never going to regret having this experience. And I would certainly second that. We'll help you with there's some grants, there's some scholarships. I am very averse to debt, but I always think, you know, maybe your house, maybe your education, but study abroad is worth it um, um, to add on to that as part of your uh, education. It just is.